Okay, so the next stage, you've imported your storyboard into Animate. Um, the first thing you want to do then is, you, so you've imported it into the library. You drag it, oh, let me just, I'll just backtrack a bit. So you go to your library, okay, you drag your imported storyboard in from the library. You scale it. Okay, you haven't already, so you scale it and then till it's approximately the same size as the stage. Okay, and then it's set up now, ready to trace. Next thing to do is to lock the layer with your storyboard on. So you click underneath the padlock symbol. Okay, now the next really important thing is on your storyboard, you will have planned out what is going to move. So anything that's going to move needs to be on its own separate layer. So for example, with this, say I decide the eyes are going to move, then I need to create a separate layer for the eyes. And again, get in the habit of naming your layers. So you double click on the, on the layer text to activate it, and then you can type in your new layer name. So we've got a layer for the eyes. Anything else, okay, that isn't going to move can be on the same layer. So what I tend to do is anything else, if we call it background. All right, so anything that isn't going to move goes together on the background layer. Anything that is going to move needs to go on its, sit on its own separate layer. All right, so that's now set up, ready to trace. Um, I'm not going to trace the whole thing. The, the, the next, so if we, if we just look at the background layer, so if I go to the background layer, now again, when you're tracing, lock any layers that you're not using, yeah? So just the only layer that should be unlocked is the one that you're tracing on. Okay, you're going to use the paintbrush to trace. Okay, you can use the paintbrush to trace. So if you select the paintbrush, select a paint color. Okay, you've selected your paintbrush, select your paint color. Okay, and the important point to make when you're tracing, okay, is, um, so if I'm tracing an outline, let me think for it. So if we say the outline of the eye here, okay. Doing the outline of the eye. Okay, so that, that's a complete shape, okay? Now if I trace the other eye, okay, and I don't quite close the shape, when I then come to fill these shapes using the paint bucket here, so if I now select the paint bucket, again I'll choose an appropriate colour, and I click in this shape, it fills no problem. If I try to click in this shape, you'll see it won't fill because there's a gap here. So I've got two options then. If the gap is not too big, um, you can go to this gap size tool here and select close large gaps and then try. And quite often that will work. If that doesn't work, then you will have to manually close the gap by painting it in. Again, don't forget, which I should have done really, is use the zoom tool. It makes life much easier. You can really focus in on the part you're tracing. Yeah. Um, so again, remember to use zoom, which is control and mouse wheel in. And remember to use spacebar to grab and move the uh, scene, the, the, what you're tracing around. Okay, so that's basically the guide to tracing. The, the other thing, when you select any of these tools, if you go to the properties tab on the right here, that will give you the properties for that particular tool. So for the paintbrush here, we have the size, uh, so I can scale up the, the paintbrush if I, if I want to. Uh, and again, I can change the, the, the color of the paint here. You can also change the opacity actually incidentally of the, the paint as well if you, if you want to, um, which can be quite good for kind of shading and things like that. Okay, so that's um, just a quick guide to the next stage, which is tracing your storyboard.